The child got a little so much of sweets from mother was worried. But mother cannot do anything. So grandma was always worried. That means it went to that stage. <coughs> How much sir, they were telling the child was not listening at all. And he will steal and he will eat candy. Is the uh, so is in India that halwa that like um, the ghee. We may tell that oh I am eating prasad, it is all ghee and sugar. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the grandma took the child to Ramakrishna Paramahansa because Ramakrishna Paramahansa was a godly man. So she was thinking if he touches the sugar will go, <laughs> immediately will become like a barbie dog. <laughs> <laughs> so he took, so he took, she took the child to Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Ramakrishna Paramahansa told uh, the grandma that you bring him after one month. Then we we have some work with Sukhna, so he told him to bring the child after one month. After one month, he was, the child was brought. Ramakrishna Paramahansa said, bring, again he told no, bring after one more month. Like that he told him, um, told them to come three times and they had to walk for three to four hours to come to his ashram. And after three or four months, uh, his grandmother, uh, Maharaj, his child, he had a lot of knees now, his knees are not able to sustain his body and the legs are not able to hold to that weight. Please do something, please do something. We are telling not to take sweets and he is not listening. If you tell it to work because you are a God man. Ramakrishna Paraman, so that day he told, okay, better don't take sugar, even if it is prasad, don't take at all. Then Grandma was surprised and she is telling, that how come I'm, we are coming from five or six times already, so much of time we will spend, you have not told me the same thing on the first day. Why took so much of time? What is the problem with you? Ram Krishna Paramahansa, the telephone is from Bengal. Bengal is anybody from Bengal here? Okay. The day will get a person from Bengal, know that you are very much, you are blessed. From that land, I will learn. Okay. So then, <laughs> <laughs> then Ramakrishna Paramahansa is telling, you know, I love sweet. When you asked me to tell to your grandson, I am taking happy to tell. It will have no effect at all. But I practiced from that day, and now I am sure that he is like a hand. I can only withstand the sweet. So that's why I am telling you. This is the, the spirituality is, doesn't come out of study or anything. It is our own experience. If you are observing your own life, then surely we get wisdom. Even she was telling, when we read book, what we gain? Knowledge. Or when we listen to somebody, we gain knowledge. That knowledge is called intellectual knowledge or intellectual information. That knowledge, how great a scholar or speaker may be, that knowledge will not help us. That knowledge, I cannot read because it is other person's knowledge. It may be inspiring. It may, be, it may take us to a very high state, but we cannot leave that knowledge because that knowledge is just information, intellectual information. Then I use that information in my life. Then I see the truth of it. <coughs> then that is called wisdom. So what is wisdom and what is knowledge? Knowledge is the information, intellectual information, but wisdom is verified knowledge in our life. Knowledge which is verified. Whose truth we have seen in our life, that is wisdom. Wisdom is ours, knowledge is other persons. So if the knowledge is transformed into wisdom, then only it will, it will translate into action in our life, otherwise not. Okay? But this is wisdom of Bhagavan Mahamasi. He has not read a book then repeating here. Only three slokas. So nicely, only three slokas he has told. Because people contains that. It is written. Kartuhu Akhyaya Prakyate Thalam. Thalam means reject. Prakyate is obtained. Kartuhu Akhyaya. Kartuhu means the door. Kartuhu. Of the door. Of the door. Kartuhu Akhyaya. Now, I am talking and you are listening. Who is talking here? The Kartu in me. There is a Karta in me. Who is the ego? Who is called the ego? Who is the who is talking now? The P F T. Who is talking now? No, I know this, all the three are ego. But who is the real Tucker? Who 
Who is talking? P. See, Parsiva's job is to only perceive things. Perceive means there are five <coughs> or organs of perception. And what are they? Eyes, ear, nose, tongue, and skin. They are called five organs of perception. Perception means I cannot see, but I can perceive. Through eye, eyes, somebody is perceiving. I cannot see. 